we just talk now strictly about real lean in QA, so what are the typical high level themes of real lean in QA? Well, surprise, surprise, leveling, as always, is up at the top of the list. So we're going to talk quite a bit more uh, as, as I go on about leveling. Flow is very important. Standard work is very important. And probably not surprisingly, visual management and huddles are very important. Now, an important point to make about this is that the application in QA organizations of leveling and flow is not intuitive. It's not obvious how you do it. I would imagine that a lot of people from QA functions are now listening to me and wondering if it's possible at all. Okay, now fortunately it is, but it's certainly not intuitive. Uh, and people who've been exposed to lean lab projects, you probably remember that equally the application of lean of leveling techniques in laboratories is not at all intuitive, but it is, it is absolutely possible and it delivers wonderful results. Okay, yeah, just one point maybe to, to make also, uh, particularly about flow, is that when people, particularly QA people, who often have play a, quite a prominent role in, in uh, Six Sigma programs uh, and so on, um, it's natural for people to think, well, the way to achieve better flow is to do a value stream map or a flowchart of my current process, to identify the delays, and to think about ways of improving those delays, reducing those delays. Um, and of course, it is possible to make some improvement by doing it in that way. But the fact is that if you want to make really substantial improvements to speed, that's highly unlikely to be the right way to go about it. It's much more likely that what you need to do is understand the lean approach to flow, to understand lean practices, and to start with a clean sheet. And that is what BSM does when they're, when they're implementing real lean solutions in, in quality assurance.